Hello and welcome to Only Connect, where we are back in business with just a few hopefully temporary changes. Basically, we've got some Perspex screens up. And here in Wales, there are a couple of specific regional regulations. The crew have been asked to stay five metres away from me at all times, so at least some things are the same as usual. Joining me this evening are, on my right, Michael Maybridge, a modern history and politics graduate whose great-great-grandfather was killed by a falling cask of spirits. Sally Maybridge, an am-dram enthusiast who can do a cartwheel. And their captain, Tim Bridgestock, a management information officer who has painted an orangutan enclosure in the Bornean rainforest. All members of the Bridge family, more or less, they are the Bridges. Tim, how are you related? Uh, so, Sally is my sister, Michael is her husband and my brother-in-law. I'm surprised because I think this season most people are coming on to Only Connect to get away from their families. <laughs> In a normal year, I don't know why they've come, but I, this year I understand the motivation. I'm assuming you weren't locked down together? No. <laughs> and do you quiz together in sort of happy harmony or do you tend to bicker afterwards? Uh, quizzing is about the only time we get along. So. <laughs> Marvellous. Well, I hope you have a happy evening tonight. You will be facing, on my left, Alan Hay, a freelance journalist who has appeared in an amateur film as Second Zombie. Lindsay Baumeister, a law graduate who once drew on David Beckham's arm at an airport. And their captain, Alan Flanagan, a writer and board game enthusiast who can pick up a cereal box from the floor using only his teeth. All big fans of a murder mystery, they're the whodunits. Welcome to Only Connect, Alan. So you're not related to your team? No, we are individuals, but we work as one. If you had to bring a member of your family to quiz with you, who would you pick? My nephew. He's two, but he's energetic. <laughs> very good. Well, I hope you have an energetic evening. Thank you all very much for coming and playing. I wish you the best of luck. Now, we've tossed a coin before the game. Bridges, you won that. You'll be going first. Please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Uh, the Twisted Flax, please. The Twisted Flax. OK, you'll be seeing four clues. What do they have in common? Obviously, more points if you don't need to see all four. Shout next when you're ready for another one. Your first clue is coming in now. Dan Snow. Dan Snow. Is that a Game of Thrones thing? No, no he's related to Jon Snow, the political guy, I think. OK, um, next, please. Chip Douglas. Doesn't really know yeah. Chip Douglas. Something like Carl Douglas's Douglas. real name or something. Another one? I don't know, yeah. Uh, next, please. Lee Ridley. Lee Ridley. Ridley Scott is... Yeah, they're not... Ridley's in Alien, isn't it? Ripley. Ripley. Uh, uh, next, please. OK, it's... Great, it's family. Family guy. Are they all something guy? Three seconds. Yeah. I think they all be, might all be known as something guy. They are all the something guy. Very well done. What can you tell me about some of these clues? Well, Peter Griffin is family guy. Mm -hmm. Beyond that, <laughs> uh, we don't have much to offer, I don't think. Is Dan Snow the history guy? Oh, oh, I'm yeah, misremembering that. Podcast. Dan Snow the history guy. Chip Douglas, he is the character played by Jim Carrey in The Cable Guy. Oh. Uh, a good weird film. And Lee Ridley. He won Britain's Got Talent in 2018, Lost Voice Guy. Remember that comedian, he spoke through a voice synthesizer, a really lovely, funny chap, and he was the Lost Voice Guy. Over to you, whodunits. Which hieroglyph would you like? The Horned Viper. The Horned Viper. OK, these are going to be picture questions. They have something in common. What is it? Here's the first picture. Fawn, Gazelle, um, Macapi, <laughs> and Yala. Um, we'll go for him. Um, next. D. So that's C. It's a C. Fawn, C, D or C. C, C, C. Do. 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 Oh, yeah, do. OK. Happy? Maybe, I don't know. I think. Next. Should we go next? We'll go next, or? Yeah. Uh, next. Oh, OK. It's over. Do. Uh, yeah. Do. Yeah. Do. Is, is the it? right answer, and of course you are going to get two points because you came in after three clues. Doe, we are looking at a female deer. Doe on the do-re-mi scale. Mm. Who's that in the third picture? Homer Simpson. Homer Simpson, of course. Mm. And uh, some doe at the end, although again, like one's related, the last thing some people want to see, isn't it? Did you do much baking in the lockdown? Yes, lots of brown Irish soda bread. Too much. It got really difficult to get yeast, didn't it? Yes. At one stage. <laughs> Very difficult. I was assuming 
Actually, that's not broadcastable. I, <laughs> <laughs> I thought people were having all sorts of fun at home. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> do, 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 and do. Very well done. Two points to you. Back to you, Bridges. What would you like? Uh, the lion, please. The lion. OK. Lion question. Your first clue is coming in now. R is for rake. Next, please. B is for boat. Romeo. Is it like a letter you can add for something to get? Think it on the, uh, next, please. G is for cake. And think. Can't. It could be adding a letter. Yeah, it could be adding a letter. Take it a letter. Next, please. NATO alphabet. Ch is for council. So the council begins with CH. Not that I can think of. Two seconds. Uh, you can add these letters to the front of something to get an example of these. I cannot oh. give you any points for that, I'm afraid. Who done it? You've got the chance of a bonus point. If you add at all, it becomes the French, French for that word. That is absolutely right. R to make a ratto, meaning a rake. B for bato, G for gato, and CH for chateau. What would you also need to add to three of the words? X. Accent. X for the plural. Well, X for the plural. Well, that would be true of all of them. No, you need to add a circumflex oh. on the A, but only to three of them. Do you know which one doesn't take the circumflex? Is it the gato? Is it gato? No, it's bato. Bato. Oh. Bato. Bato. Very well done. You get the bonus point, and you may choose your own question. Can we have two reads, please? Yes, you may. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Printing press. Devil. Uh, next. Compass. Compass. Uh, so why is printing Compass. a verb? Um, it's printing. Compass. 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 North. Needles. North. 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 Um, next. Paper making. Paper making. This feels like. Oh, the pipes. Oh, the pipes. Oh, the pipes. Oh, the pipes. We're going to say they all involve a plot. A plot. <laughs> a plot? Talk me through the clues, please. Well, there's a gunpowder <laughs> plot. Uh, mm -hmm. You use a compass to plot your course. Yes. Printing also involves plots, and so does paper making. I can't <laughs> accept it, I'm afraid. So, a bonus chance for you, Bridges. Do you know the answer? They invented by Germans. Absolutely not the case. It's Chinese. Isn't it? Unless those Germans were very well travelled, because they were all invented in ancient China. Yeah. Ah. They are China's four great inventions. Apparently, this is according to the sinologist Dr. Joseph Needham. I want to see a sinologist about my allergies. Very <laughs> unhelpful. Very <laughs> unhelpful. No bonus points there then. But Bridges, you may have your own question. Uh, the Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. Okay. Lovely. It'll be a musical question. You'll be hearing your clues. Shout next when you want another one. First one coming in now. Anything? Next, please. What's it actually called? Something morning or something? That's morning from Pierre from Gent. Oh, is that what this is? I think no, so. Uh, next split. Oh. Two seconds. They're adverts. They are not all adverts. Who done it? Do you know? Is, uh, it, um, is it something to do with a new world? It is something to do with a new world. That is the answer. Very well done. What did we hear? I could only recognise the third one, which was Four Shacks. Um, New World New Symphony. World, New World Symphony, yes. And that was used, <sighs> I, I now realise, in an <laughs> advert for Hobbies. I mean, our poor viewers, they quite look forward to us coming back, and now it's all bread and relatives, and you're <laughs> screaming, I came here to get away from that. New World in the Morning, Roger Whittaker, that was the second one. First one, Brave New World, Toya. And we didn't quite get to hear much of the last one. It was a whole new world. I quite want to hear a bit more of it because, <laughs> because apparently... The version we were going to hear... Well, can we hear it and see if we can work out uh, 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 the singers? Unbelievable 
you know who's singing that? Peter Andre and Jordan. Oh, Katie it's Price. Peter Andre and Katie Price, isn't it? Lovely. Unbelievable <laughs> feelings. Fantastic. <laughs> you know, Katie Price's third divorce came through this year. I don't mind telling you, we've got high hopes of a sequence question <laughs> sometime next year. <laughs> Very well done. A bonus point to you, New World. And the last question of the round, the water question, is coming your way. First clue coming in now. Oh, it's, that's for lights, but there could be like a um, wizard and a bit. Um, next. Oh, it's like, it's like a statue or a, a bit painting or something like that. It's the subject of, of like an image. Oh, no, is it is it the statue of a tea? Is that the model for the Statue of Liberty? Oh, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Um, we'll, check. we'll do that. Next. Is that like a... Is that, is that Le kind of area? I don't know. Okay. Um, next. Oh, there's a Oh, it's, fi oh, it's, it's um, film. It is the logos of film companies. The logos of film studios. Very well done. Nice. What are those companies? Uh, the last one is... Oh, what was it again? Dreamworks? No. Dreamworks. Dreamworks. I think it's 22 stars is Paramount. Yeah. Um, yeah that's Paramount, yes, stars so of Ben like Lomond. Columbia is Evelyn. Columbia Pictures, yes, Evelyn Venable, whose surname really feels like an anagram of her first name, doesn't it? But isn't quite. <laughs> and the first one? Um, 20th Century Fox. Fox, yeah. Well, it's now 20th Century Studios, previously 20th Century Fox. Very good, good knowledge. That means, at the end of round one, the Bridges have one point, the Whodunits have five. <laughs> Onto the sequences round now. There are still four clues, but the teams may see only three of them at most because I want to know what would come forth in the sequence. Bridges, you'll be going first again. Which hieroglyph would you like? Uh, two reeds, please. Two reeds. OK. You will see the first in a series of pictures. What would you expect to see in the fourth picture? Here's the first. That's Montgomery. Okay. Bill Marshall. Bill Montgomery. Can we get a sequence yeah. out of that? No. no. Yeah. Next, please. What's his first name? Bernard. Something with two hands like a boa yeah. or a python. This is still a sequence, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, a multi python. It's a picture of a circus. Yeah, it's got to be. Yeah. yeah. A picture of a circus. Very well done. It will be a picture of a circus. And why? Uh, it's a picture of Montgomery in the mm. first picture, which Michael recognised. A picture of a python. Mm -hmm. And so multi pythons flying circus. Actually, two pythons there with an implied okay. apostrophe, of okay. course. Uh, Monty Python's Flying Circus. Have you seen that show? Yes. John Cleese worries that people haven't seen it, you know, because he, he talks a lot about how it hasn't been repeated. He's, he said recently that he thinks he's not famous anymore because so it's not repeated. But he said in 2018, maybe it's too funny, it might not contrast well with the comedy they do these days. Yeah. Do you know any of the other names they considered before calling it Monty Python's Flying Circus? Owl Stretching Time. Owl Stretching Time was, a, was <laughs> one of them. And uh, they also considered Wither Canada, The Nose Show, Ow, It's Colin Plint, <laughs> A Horse, A Spoon and a Basin, and The Toad Elevating Moment. <laughs> They'd all be really good for charades, wouldn't they? I'd like to see someone do The Toad Elevating Moment drunk after a Christmas lunch. <laughs> Very well done. Who done it? What would you like? Uh, the Lion. The Lion. OK, your first clue is coming in now. 14 to 25, so it's nine. adding 9. Um, so, uh, 1, 4 is 5. Um, go next. Yeah. Next. 12 to 15. Oh, God. Um, it's it's going it? to be one that's not going to be numbers at all, isn't it? It's a binary tier. Yeah. It can't be binary. Um, next. 13 to 17. 13 to 17. 25, 50, 75, 100. Yeah. So why is it? 12. It's making it 12. 12. 12. 14 to 12. any maths. Two seconds. Is it 56 arrow 100? And why would that be? Because of the... <laughs> Not a sequence, I'm afraid. <laughs> Bonus chance for you, Bridges, do you know? 52 to 100. 52 and arrow 100. And why would that be? Because it feels like it's some sort of geometric progression -y thing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing so sophisticated. You'll kick yourselves. Imagine there was a little diagonal line between the first two numbers. It's just quarter fractions. No. So that uh. is one over four, a quarter, or 25%. A half is 50%, 30% is 
three over four, three quarters, 75 per cent. So I want to hear one over one, 100, 11 to 100 per cent. It is quarter fractions to percentages. Didn't spot that numerical one. What would you like, Bridges? Uh, the Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. What will come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. One Brian Blessed. First Brian Blessed. Next, please. Second George Baker. If anything means less. Pete. The George Baker selection did the theme tune to uh, the Reservoir Dogs. Whether it's the same George Baker. I think we need another uh, one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, next, please. Third John Hurt. Uh, it's obviously an actor. They all played someone. They all appeared um, in something. The only thing I know about John Hurt was he was the war doctor, but the others haven't been in. No. Doctor, so I don't know. Do we have a sensible guess? Two I'm seconds. Sorry. Fourth, Anthony Hopkins. Close, but not the answer, I'm afraid. Who done it? Do you know? It's um, Olivier. Fourth, Laurence Olivier. Not it, I'm afraid. Fourth is the wonderful Derek Jacobi. Does that help? Is it Claudius? It is Claudius, the fourth emperor of Rome in I, Claudius. Brian Blessed played the first emperor of Rome, Emperor Augustus. George Baker played the second emperor of Rome, who was? Julius. Tiberius. <laughs> John Hurt played the third, who was the sixth Caligula. one. Caligula, that's right. <laughs> and who would have been fifth? Possibly my favourite actor of all time. Who was the fifth emperor of Rome? Nero. N Nero is the answer. And who would play the emperor Nero if not the great Christopher Biggins? <laughs> <laughs> And I'm not even joking. I think Christopher Biggins is really great. I once took part in a radio debate. I had to debate against the motion. Daniel Day-Lewis is a better actor than Christopher Biggins. I made a good fist of it. I'm a big <laughs> fan of Biggins. Derek Jacobi was fourth. So no points there. Who done it? You may choose a question. Uh, the Twisted Flax. The Twisted Flax. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Bookmark. Bookmark. Made of two words. Uh, uh, ends in a currency. Um, uh, next. Copy. Oh, these are things you can do on the, on your computer. Is it going to be alphabetical? B, C. B, C, D, E, Control and E, or oh. Escape. Oh, it might just be the next it, Yeah, it's like, it's like in the top of the... Maybe, yeah. Um, next. Bold. Yeah, it's, 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 so it's maybe it's italic beside bold. C, V, plus D. What are the letters? Where's B on the keyboard? Is it on the bottom row? Because bold is Control and B. No, because it's, it's Control. It's, oh, it's Control. Two seconds. Um, is it uh, all? What do you mean exactly? Uh, like select all. Select all is the right answer. Very well done. And why is that? Um, there, what happens if you press Control and yeah. D, C, B, and A on a computer? That's it. Control D, Control C, Control B, Control A. Very well done. Next in the sequence, of course, if you can manage to press Control C and B at once, Christopher Biggins appears in your room. <laughs> uh, especially if you've had enough gin. Bridges, back to you. What would you like? Water, please. Water. Very sensible. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Rob Run. Next, please. Geo car. Geography, cartography. Next, please. Oh, it's Woodrow Wilson. It's the middle of... So who's seven. next? Oh, is it? Man? George Carter. Do the top ones work for me? Robert. Not sure they do. It's got to be something. Oh, Robert Winksy. Rowan Williams. Who's the current... Um, it's it's um, Justin Wilson. Well, Justin Wilson. Well, Two seconds. Well. 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 Just well. Ju well is the right answer. Very well spotted. What's going on here? These are the first three letters of each of the names of consecutive um, Archbishops of Canterbury. Archbishops of Canterbury. Robert Runcie, George Carey, my favourite, Rowan Williams, a man I admire as much as I admire Christopher Biggins, but for totally different reasons, <laughs> and Justin Welby. Do you know an interesting fact? Every Archbishop of Canterbury between 1942 and 1991 had a six-letter surname. It went Temple, Fisher, Ramsey, Coggan, Runcie. All six letters. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> Very well spotted. You solved that word puzzle. Back to you, who done it? For the last question of the round, Horn Viper. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Winchester. 
which is the cathedral, which is the, I suppose, this is Winchester. Um, next. Winchester. Are these, like, could they be something literary? Are there any, any like, Jane Austen books or anything like that? Old Winchester. No. They, they have the same beginning. No, you know what? It could be, it could be old capitals of England. Okay. So what's the next one? Um, next. Oh, so it's, um, it was, it was the, cap the capital of the, 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 the English kingdoms before the extended one. It was. Two seconds. Londonium. Not it, I'm afraid. Bridges, would you like to have a go for a bonus point? True, right. Is the right answer. Well done, and why is that? I think it's perhaps county towns of counties moving west along the south coast of England. That's exactly what it is. You sound nervous. It is county <laughs> towns, and you're moving east to west along the south coast of England, and the county town of Cornwall is Truro. Very well done. Good geographical knowledge. So you've pulled it back after a slightly tricky round one, and that means at the end of round two, the Bridges have seven points, the Whodunits have seven points. <laughs> Time now for the connecting wall. 16 jumbled up clues that the teams need to sort into four connected groups of four. There's a point for each group, a point for each connection, and bonus points if they get it all correct. Who done it? It'll be your turn to go first this time. So please choose lion or water. Water, please. Okay, you have two and a half minutes to solve the water wall starting now. Colonel Donna Borgi, fire engine. Colonel Tom Parker, Colonel Borgi. Colonel Cutts from Pop Pops Now. And Colonel. Blood. Try Colonel Blood. Colonel Blood. Excellent. Very good. Uh, Colonel Blood. Butterfly. Donna is a tennis and prints of tennis brands. Wilson. Um, Head. Yonex yeah. is as well. That's a five, I think. Um, do we have any others? Because I can see red, fire engine red, rust red, cardinal red. And. Yeah, brick, brick red. red. Brick red. Yeah. So yeah. I try those. Okay. You get three okay. strikes now. Okay, so shore. Shore sounds like shore, waste sounds like waste. So Donny. Guide. Shoreline, guideline, waistline. Yeah, shoreline. Headline. Headline. So Donny, Prince, Wilson, and your next Tennis Smith. brands. The tennis brands, so we're yeah. happy with yeah. those. So Donny, Prince, Wilson, and Yonex are tennis brands, and waste, head, guide, and shore go before line. Yeah. Cool, I'll give it a whirl. Yeah. That's it, you've solved the wall. You made short work of that. Was it easier than you expected? It was scary, <laughs> but... <laughs> I'm not really sure what's just happened. Well, what's just happened is you've got four points for sorting them out into the groups, and you can now get points for the connections. So, what connects Bogey, Kurtz, Tom Parker and Blood? Is that Colonel? Colonel. Colonel. Oh. All Colonels. Who's Colonel Blood? God, I don't know. A vampire? He tried to steal the crown jewels. jewels yes. oh. Colonel Thomas Blood. And the next group, Cardinal, Fire Engine, Rust, Brick. They are all shades of red. They are. Donne, Prince, Wilson, Yonex. Those are... Tennis brands. Tennis brands. Brands of tennis racket, that's right. And the last group, Shaw, Waste and so on. Go before line. They go before line. So that is also four points for the connections and a bonus two for getting it all correct. That is the maximum of ten points. Very well done. Time to bring the bridges in now and give them the other wall, the lion wall, see what they can do about solving it. Of course, you have two and a half minutes if you need it. Starting now. OK, so there are the starts of Spanish football teams in here. You can see Athletic, Real, Celta, Sporting. There are yeah. Italian racing. musical terms as well. Largo, yes. Piano, Presto and maybe Dolce. I'm going to go through the sports ones if I can. OK. Uh, There's Piano as well, actually. Yes. Grave or grave. So we've got temper, sort of uh, musical, musical markings, aren't they? Yeah, largo, piano, presto, dog. Any other than grave or piano? Piano, yeah. Okay, well, so I left that piano there. Keep talking. Okay, what else have yeah, we got? Um, right. Three okay. strikes now. Plenty of time. I think there's Bond villains in here. Uh, <laughs> something uh, Dr. like Max no. Zorin, Doctor No, something like that. I'm guessing Sanchez could well be a Bond villain. Large has got Argo in it. It's all a Largo. So oh, hang on, I've got big deal, it. raw deal, real no. deal, and no, no deal. deal. So happy villains. with Spanish football yeah. teams and musical terms. Musical indicators, yep. terms, Bond villains, if it's right. Yep. Go and then it. deals. That's it. You've solved the wall. Simple as that. 
Mm. Like, can you tell me the connections? What about that first group? Racing, sporting and so on. These are words that start the names of Spanish football teams. They all refer to Spanish football teams. Sporting Gijon, Athletic Bilbao, Celta Vigo and Rathing Santander. And the green group, starting Dolce. Uh, these are musical instructions. They are musical instructions, presto, piano and so on. And the pink group, Big No Raw. These can all be followed by Deal. Big Deal, No Deal, Raw Deal, Real Deal. And the next group, Sanchez, King and so on. I think these are the surnames of Bond villains. They are all Bond villains, absolutely right. So, you get four points for the groups and the connections, the bonus for getting it all right, that's the maximum. Let's have a look at the overall scores. <laughs> The Bridges have 17 points, the Whodunits have 17 points. So the outcome will be decided in the missing vowels round. We've taken well-known names, phrases and sayings, taken out the vowels, squidged up the consonants, and the teams must tell me what the disguised clues are. Remember, teams, in this round, if you get it wrong, you will lose points. So buzz with care. OK, fingers on buzzers. The first group are all reptilian phrases. Fridges. See you later, alligator. Correct. Who done it? In a while, crocodile. Yes, it is. Who done it? Snake in the grass. Correct. Fridges. The tortoise, the tortoise and, and the hare. hare. Yes, hares are reptiles. Next category: a desert and a dessert. Fridges. Sahara and Bates, Alaska. Yes, it is. Who done it? Kalahari and Knickerbocker Glory. Brilliant. Bridges. Great Basin and Gypsy Tart. You're a genius. Next clue. Who done it? Golby and Blamange. Correct. Next category. They're all first women. Who done it? Valentina Tereshkova. First woman in space. Correct. Who done it? Margaret Thatcher. Correct. Who done it? Aretha Franklin. First woman in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, that's right. Who done it? Eve. That's right. And the noise has sounded for the end of the round. So looking at the final scores, the Bridges finish on 21. The Who Done It have 25. Very well done. You are the winners and straight through to the next round. Bridges, you did really well. It was a slightly nervous first round, but you came back brilliantly and you will get another chance to win through to the next round later in the competition. Thank you all for playing. Please join me next time for another episode of the quiz that's the toughest of nuts to crack. And I'm sure you don't need me to tell you that that's actually the macadamia nut. It can withstand 300 pounds of pressure per square inch. Good night.